Hi guys, um, so, hello, uh, thanks for being there um, today. So, what we'll do, it's actually just we'll paint together and have fun and get messy. Because as you see, I get messy a lot and everywhere around me. Um, we all have different ways of working, so some people are really clean and I do find it incredibly cool. And I wish I was like that so I could paint pretty much everywhere but I need a messy space. Um, so that's why I say we'll get messy. And um, so today I just finished up these pieces yesterday. It was a series that I was working on a sky. So as you may know, this is not a class. Uh, this is not how to paint uh, from uh, one to be. I will not teach you because I don't know how to teach or I don't even have technique. I just do it and it goes out on canvas. I do a lot of mistakes and then I learn from them and then sometimes I just use the mistakes as a result and um, it comes out pretty cool sometimes so we'll see what we can do. So I will put these aside because they're um, actually dry and I've just put the varnish on. So what I want to work on today it's uh, this painting that I started a little while ago. It is on uh, um, on the topic of the sea. So yeah, I have a terrific outfit here. I have my dad's Converse. Um, they're actually fake ones. Um, they're maybe like three sizes too big for me. But I'm on the cement floor, so I gotta keep my feet uh, warm. So yeah, back to the point of this uh, this video. So I will put my uh, project on my awesome table, which is actually like a um, clothes hanger that I transform into a table. It's not stable, but it gives, mo it gives movement. So yeah, I just work with whatever I have, um, which gives, um, I mean, originality to the process. So. This is uh, the painting I was telling you about. So I started this painting a little while ago. I've worked a lot on it. And as you may see, this is the sky and this is the sea. And it starts to take a little life. Um, and if I have one, one uh, good tip that I can tell you, and I don't have enough. Um, no, I don't have enough and I don't have a lot. So listen well. This is the importance of working from the background like what is further away and coming up to the front um, and the the front piece so I always always do what's further and then I come uh, closer so it it helps me to set up the basis and also it allows me to work more in the details at the end which make total sense because you don't want to redo what you did and work uh, well whatever you understand so um, yeah, my painting, I work with acrylic, so I, I get, I get a, like big cans um, and I like to put them in little jars like this because I just like always like let them open so it would dry pretty quick so when I have a little amount of paint I, I, I just like use less. Uh, and yeah, I don't throw away the the dry one. So okay, first thing first, as I get messy, I like to put my hair up, cause yeah, it's hard to clean. So um, yeah, we'll start. Uh, I I use a picture that I took. Uh, I took it um, in Quebec. It was the high tide recently, and I took this picture with the waves and everything it was so powerful so hopefully I can translate it into my painting I get inspired from this picture but I also add a little bit of um, I guess mistakes <laughs> that are coming up and I'm like okay let's do it this way and I, I kind of just like play around with that okay I'll be right back because you need water that's an important thing um, always get a little water by your hand so and I, I use water and I use this uh, rag 
don't draw anything. I mean, this is uh, my uh, first winter blanket that I have, uh, that I had in my in my bed when I was a kid, and my mom made rags out of it, so pretty useful today. Okay, just set it up here. We'll work on that space and I want to create a little darker here so as you follow me and as you you check out my uh, website which is uh, www.mcduval.zenfolio.com or if you go on my Instagram or my Facebook page it's at um, mcduval.arts you you'll get a lot of uh, actually everything um, I do is on there and you'll see that I work in black white and gray all the time so don't get too surprised or don't wait for me to do a class well I don't do classes but don't wait for me to do you know I don't know like this uh, colorful how to paint colors I, I'm really bad so What's interesting is that I never really know what I'm doing <laughs> and I always hope for the best. <laughs> I just play along and Oh, and you know what maybe um maybe tomorrow we'll have a guest. Um yeah starting it big. First video or second day I have a guest. It will be my little cousin. She's coming. Uh, I'll babysit her and uh, she's a really good photographer. I'm not even kidding. She's so talented. Um, she's nine years old but she has this eye for things. I don't know. It's impressive. So um, she's coming here and I'll just maybe paint with her. She's also good. I mean, she's getting there. Like you want to use brushes, go. You want to use a pen, go. You want to use your hand, just go. Well, I could. <laughs> I'm the last person who cares about like how to do things. As long as it feels right and it helps you to get where you want to, you want to be. It's like the best way to do it. Then. So what I want to create is really the movement of the wave going back and forth and creating this kind of like um uh, how do you say like kind of like a mousse thing effect like foamy yeah that would be like that would be the right term
Okay, so um, I was absorbed. So the important thing is just to play and um, get a get a, a feeling of your paint, get a feeling of the material that you're working with, try things, enjoy it, um, do mistakes, do a lot of mistakes, and just try to try to try things. I will um I will say goodbye to you because I will focus on this piece without talking all the time to a camera in my studio located in the basement. So um I can get some work done and I will keep you posted and uh do a, a, another video soon enough and uh hopefully you you get some work done as well on your side and if you have any questions and if you have any comment um, comment just really really please feel free to email me um, you can find my email on my uh, Facebook page at mcduval.arts or you can also email me through my website uh, just google mcduval.arts or mcduval.zenfolio.com and you'll get a touch with me and Next time we talk, maybe I'm still be working on that piece, and I could actually do the little like finish uh, touch-ups on it, so you can see like how I play with um, the transparency and all the dripping effects. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for being there. Take care, guys.